video on how to get Xformer 10 to run under Play on Mac on Mac OS. Uh, I've downloaded uh, Play on Mac, haven't installed it yet. I've downloaded Xformer 10, uh, which is a Windows thing for, but I haven't installed that yet. Um, so here we go. This is the Play on Mac uh, uh, installation folder. It normally wants you to drag Play on Mac to the Applications folder. Uh, I'm actually not going to do that. Um, I'm going to create a uh, folder in my Applications folder called Play on Mac. I find this easier to keep things together. So I'm going to copy the Play on Mac application to a Play on Mac folder within my Applications folder. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to copy the Xformer folder also into that same folder. And that's the only reason I created the, the subfolders to keep that stuff together. All right, so there we go. And now I'm going to run um, a Play on Mac application. It's an unsigned app, so the first time you have to, uh, I have to control click it because security, and then I have to say, yeah, yeah, I trust it. Okay, so this is the Play on Mac uh, installation setup thing. So I'm going to hit install a program install a non-listed program and it gives you some things that you should read and then um, it's a manual installation wizard install a new program in a virtual drive great give it a name call it xformer hit next you can uh, there are several options you can leave them all blank uh, I'm going to do a 32-bit Windows installation. Maybe you can do 64. I don't know. I'm not telling you the, old, the best way to do it. I'm telling you the way it works for me. It does some setup stuff. It asks if you want to install .NET. You can hit cancel. It asks if you want to install Gecko. You can hit cancel. Please select the install file to run. All right, so now I'm going to go to Applications, uh, Play on Mac, Xformer, and then hit the Xformer tan.exe. And I hit Next. Play on Mac is installing your application. Oops, it drew it outside the box here, but there we go. It is running. Now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, don't get too excited here at this point. It's not, I don't think it's really, really totally installed yet. So we are going to hit exit. Go back to play on Mac. And then it says, please choose a file uh, for play on Mac to make a shortcut. Now here's, this is the kind of part I had to figure out. Hit, hit, hit browse, hit browse. And then it starts you off in kind of the, the virtual Windows machine. I want to get out of that and go back to your uh, applications folder, play on Mac, and then the Xformer 10 folder that we put there in the play on Mac folder, and then the play uh, the, the Xformer 10.exe file. And hit next. Give it a name, Xformer 10, that's fine. I think Play on Mac is installing, is expecting a program to be installed uh, on its Windows, virtual Windows machine. And this doesn't, um, it seems like Xformer 10 doesn't actually install anything. It just sort of runs in place. So that's why we have to have the, the Xformer 10 folder sort of separate in its own little box in its own in our applications folder. Like I said, maybe this is not the right way to do it. Maybe it's not the best way to do it, but it works. Um, uh, do I, want to, I don't want to make another shortcut. That's it. That is it. That is it. Now we're all set up. So now um, click X over 10 and hit run. And kind of be patient because there's no immediate feedback, but it's actually running. And there it is. And we are right now running uh, three virtual machines and just to show you I can start a new virtual machine uh, there we go and uh, you can you know run different programs or whatever but to just to show you that this this is 
totally working. Uh, Tar computer memo pad. Hello from Portland, right? Okay. And then hit F5 to get back to that. All right, so now I'm going to quit um, uh, Xformer, and I'm even going to quit Plan Mac. Sure, you want to quit? Yes, we have quit. So now we're completely have quit out of both programs, and now I'm going to run Plan Mac again. And then I'm going to run Xformer again. And look, the state is exactly how we left it. That's it. We are all set. Um, enjoy using X410. Enjoy using Plan Mac.